everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to um, animate your name on Scratch. So, um, the URL for Scratch is uh, scratch, scratch dot mit dot edu. We just enlarge the window. So, um, in order to do this, you either have to uh, download Scratch 2.0, like this, Scratch 2, or uh, you need to make an account on um, Scratch. So, first thing, uh, you have to do when you get onto Scratch is you're gonna click this folder. You're gonna go into My Stuff, and then you're gonna press New Project. Okay, so here we are. So we're gonna name this Animated Name. So for this, you won't need the scratch cat. So left click and press delete. So now you need your letter. So you're gonna press uh, choose sprite from library. And then you're gonna press letters. Wait for the letters to pull up. So you can choose from here um, your name or uh, your, uh, say you have a nickname, you can choose the letters from here, but I'm going to use my name, which is Ohm, it's, it's spelled A-U-M, so I'm going to use an A, so I'm, I clicked on the A, put it in the, on the side, and I'm going to press this again, because I'm, I need, uh, my whole name, so I'm going to press the letters again, and find a U, I'm gonna find it M, so letters M. So now here I have my name. So we want a code for the A. So click on the A. <clears throat> and then you're gonna press events. Events is when the flag clicked is it's gonna start the program. So in order to animate your name. We're gonna do. We're gonna make it change color and uh, spin a little bit. So you're gonna go to Control, and you're gonna take the Forever block. So right when you run it, whatever you put in this bracket or um, this block, it will run it forever until you stop it. So we're gonna go to Motion, and we're gonna make it turn 15 degrees. So right now it's spinning, but I also want it to change color. So I'm going to go to looks, and then I'm going to press change color effect by 25. Now it looks really crazy changing color, and it's uh, spinning. So say if you want to reset it when it first starts. So you're going to go to looks again. And then clear graphic graphic effects, and you should do it before the bracket, before forever um, block. So reset for a fraction of a second, and then I'll start again. So our coding for the A is done. Now for the U. I'm gonna go for to events again. I'm gonna take one flag clicked. This flag right here. I'm going to take the forever. I think we're going to put some um, really uh, cool effect. So change. We'll put change effect. So it, right now it's on color. But I'm going to put down the drop down. Change uh, 
mosaic. But I want it to stop now. So I'll change mosa mosaic effect by 25. I'm gonna say wait 0 0.01 seconds. And then we're gonna go to looks again. We're gonna say change drop down mosaic effect by um, minus 25 or negative 25 whatever you want to call, call it so I'm going to press the flag button or the green flag now we have something really glitchy going on so I want to clear the graphic graphic effects it won't it won't maybe it won't solve it but So here I put something uh, totally optional. So now we get that one U and then multiple U's. Say if you want it to um, change color as well. So you're going to go to looks and I'm going to say change color effect by 25. So now it's changing and it's showing that mosaic pattern. So coding for the U is done, let's go to the M. For, so for the M, I'm going to go to flag clicked, and I'm going to do the same thing forever. Now I'm going to go to looks. I'm going to say uh, change color effect again. I'm going to do motion, turn 15 degrees, turn 15 degrees, and then turn 15 degrees again but on the opposite side then I'm gonna put this wait one second and I'm gonna change that to 0 0.01 so let's see what that does it makes it shake a little so what I want it to do still is I want it to grow in size and then I want it to um, grow back so I'm gonna to go to looks I'm going to say uh, change size by 10, wait to 0.01 seconds, and I'm going to go to looks again, and I'm going to do change size by minus 10. So clear graph graphic effects. So say you want it to increase a little bit, say 20, and minus 20. You're going to stop it here and we're going to start all over again. But the thing is, is that we have to reset the size as well. So we're going to put the set size to 100%. That's the original. So, uh, there you have it, guys.